Hey there everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll give you a very brief tutorial on how to convert sales data into information which will be useful to make some important decisions. So let's get going. Here is a sample data for the year 2016 for sales for a company. All this is random data and you have 100 rows of information. In reality, you may have more than 1000, 2000 or 10,000 data. So what can you get from this type of information? Maybe you can get total sales by just a regular sum formula. That's the amount of information you can get in the current form of data. If you'd like to do some analysis to find the best month or quarter, you need to prep the data first. Let's say if you could find the day, month and quarter based on the date. To know how to do this, you can check my video on how to extract this information from date which should be shown in the top right corner right now. Once you get the information of the day, month and quarter, now you can do some interesting analysis on the sales data. Let's start with month and then let's figure out the sales for each month. Let's call it monthly sales. Now let's write the different months, which is January, February, March. Once you have the month, you can get the monthly sales from the sales data using the formula sum if. This is how you would put sum if for the range. The range is going to be the month that you have calculated based on the date. What is the criteria? Each to be the month January in the first case and what the sum range. That's it. You get the monthly sales for Jan. Now if you want to move this formula over, you need to first freeze the criteria range and the sum range. For this you can do by selecting the range and pressing function F4. Similarly for the sum range. Now when you copy and paste, you will get the monthly sales for this sales data. You can also do that for the quarter, the four quarters are Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4 and again similar summary formula. Now with the quarter range, the criteria is going to be which quarter you want the data for and the sum range is going to be you need to again freeze both the criteria range and the sum range and just copy the formula. Similarly, if you want to see how a weekday is performing, you can do that too. The data that you have calculated now is going to give you some important information on how your sales has performed across a month or a quarter or an exact weekday. But you can also get a visual representation by putting all this information on a chart. So let's see how to do it. You can select the monthly data first and you can go to the insert and you can see a recommended chart button. Let's say you just select the monthly sales. Right there you can see that how the performance has happened across the year. The best month is October and the month with the lowest sales is March. You can also do a pie chart for the same. So let's select the data again. And let's insert a uh, 3D pie data. Uh, let me choose this. This pie chart shows the breakdown for the year based on percentage of sales for each month. You can do the same for the quarter. Uh, let's do that. And 
similarly for the weekday. There you have it. You are able to chart the monthly sales, quarterly sales and day sales based on just the information of date and sales given to you by extracting the day, month and quarter and then finding the information for each respective month, quarter or day. I hope that this tutorial was of use to you. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. If you want to see some other specific Excel stuff, kindly comment below. Till next time, ciao.